Now the Zimbabwe cricket team will play the SA Invitational 11 in Paul in a three-day day-night tour match starting on Wednesday. The match is preparation for the day-night four-day Boxing Day test match to be played in PE. Fast bowler Dale Stain will make his comeback to first-class cricket in the match starting tomorrow. Zimbabwe hardly get to play test cricket, let alone a day-night test match. It's a team with experienced cricketers such as Captain Graham Creamer, Hamilton Mazakadza, Brendan Taylor, Carl Jarvis and the talented Sikanda Raza. It will be a special and historic occasion at St. George's Park. Yeah, exciting for us also. I mean, never played with a pink ball. You know, haven't played a lot under lights generally. But yeah, excited. Um, boys are really excited and, you know, like you say, a historical test match and yeah, happy to be part of it. The South African invitation team initially included a number of pro tiers. But just like A.B. de Villiers, who is suffering from a stiff lower back, Chris Morris was forced to withdraw due to a groin strain. Timber Bavuma will play, and Stain will be hoping to prove his fitness after suffering a broken shoulder in Australia in November 2016. He's one of the best, better bowlers going around, and it'll be good to have him back, not only just for this test match, but, you know, going forward in his career. is great to watch, and, you know, excited to see him in the three-day game and then hopefully in the test match. It's a bit strange to see iconic players such as Mackay Antini and Lance Klusner as part of the Zimbabwe coaching team. But another country's loss is another's gain. We're lucky that we're benefiting, I suppose, from, you know, having two, two, two of uh, South Africans, uh, you know, best, probably some of their best players, you know, in their history, coaching in Zimbabwe rather than coaching here in South Africa. So we'll, we'll take that and, and hopefully benefit from that. And, and uh, you know, I'm sure we'll see those guys in the coaching structures here in South Africa in the near future as well. The Proteus should prove too strong for Zimbabwe, even in a four-day test match. Zimbabwe will make history in South Africa when they play the Proteus in the first ever four-day day-night test match in Port Elizabeth, starting on the 26th of December. Craig Murray, SABC News, Paul.